Barak Adam Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekha Kudash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth. Today's lesson, which um, you can see on your screen, it's not, this is a video of, uh, of uh, uh, the Buffalo supermarket that was, uh, that was a part of this, uh, I guess you can call it a terrorist attack. And um, I kind of stopped the video three seconds in. Uh, this is from ABC News. And, you know, uh, I've been seeing this video. My brother's been making, uh, you know, videos concerning this situation here. Uh, and, you know, I kind of sat back and kind of, you know, just been you know, listening and, you know, observing and, you know, trying to come out with the point that I really wanted to uh, make, you know, concerning this situation. And um, it was just one thing that stood out, which, you know, there's a lot of things that's, uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, eye-opening and, you know, for the most part for, not just for me, but uh, for the, you know, so-called, you know, people that is not in the know. And the reason I say that is because uh, it's just, just, you know, there's no matter how much you do to, you know, uh, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, but in this case, the so-called black people which are the Israelites of the Bible, the Hebrew Israelites of the Bible, which, you know, comes from that, uh, the Southern Kingdom, which is, uh, uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, um, but, you know, it's a lot of people are, you know, still in the, uh, dark on what's really going on, and, and it was just this piece, which, you know, everything is very important, but it's just this one piece that stuck out to me. And um, I'm going to play it. I believe it's maybe almost 30 seconds into this uh, beginning of this clip. And um, I'm going to bring that out and come with a couple verses that I have uh, ready. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and play it and. Come back with those scriptures and Lord willing to say the fire to the flock. Hate and horror unleashed on both coasts. Two deadly mass shootings in places many assume to be safe. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. In Buffalo, a community devastated. A quiet afternoon at the grocery store torn to shreds by violence. Ten people killed in what authorities are calling a racially motivated hate crime. And they say the accused shooter had possible plans to continue his rampage. This is an absolute racist hate crime. This is someone who has hate in their heart, soul, and mind. New video shows the final moments of the assault at the Topps Friendly Market. The alleged 18-year-old gunman in tactical gear and body armor. Questions are now percolating. Were there red flags overlooked? Law enforcement officials say the teen had posted extremist views online, including about the replacement theory, a racist conspiracy theory embraced by white supremacists. I heard all the gunshots. I heard all the, the bodies fall. I heard everything. It was terrifying. Among the victims, a former police officer and hero who confronted the shooter, a grandmother who fed those in need, a wife who had just finished visiting her husband in a nursing home. I pray she had no pain. That it happened so quick that she was gone like that. And I also pray for that young man. And in California, this time That's what that's that's what I'm looking that's the thing that stood out to me, you know. I'm gonna play it again. In need, a wife who had just finished visiting her husband in a nursing home. I pray she had no pain. That it happened so quick that she was gone like that. And I also pray for that young man. See, that's a hey, that's the the, the 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 sleep deprivation. 
I probably should look that word up, but other people, man, they just walking around in a dead state, man, you know, because this here you had this old Jake here, you know, she had to be about us late sixties or whatever, and they they still praying for the enemy. You know, that's what she said, I, I pray for that young man. What you praying for him? What you praying for him for? You know, that's the that's the the sleep of the people, man. You know, who shall rouse them up, as the scriptures say, you know? Who shall rouse these people up? The so called Negroes, man. You know, which you know, it it it's it's it's, it's just mind blowing, man. This so called white man can beat you down to a pulp. And you still want to pray, and you want to get along with them. See, this isn't it? Now, I know this may seem harsh, but this is the people that we don't need. You know, the 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 weak. We don't need our people to be in a weak mind state like this, praying for the enemy. You know, and that's it's a it's a it's a million more that's like this. You see. Millions or more people, you know, if you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that, that that think the same way that she thinks, you know. So, let's get the first precept. Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 11, it says, But ye are they that forsake the Lord. Yeah. Yeah, how that forget my holy mountain. See? And this woman, she's definitely forgotten the Lord's holy mountain, man. Okay? She's forgotten the Lord's holy mountain, man. She's praying for the enemy. Okay? It says, that forget my holy mountain, the government of Yehovah Bashim Yahweh that says, hate the enemy, man. And isn't that what the Lord said? The Lord said he hate Esau with a perfect hatred, okay, Esau have our love, I mean, Jacob have our love, and Esau have our hated, that was a slip of the tongue, but yeah, okay, Jacob have our love, but Esau have our hated, which is the so-called white man, Esau is the so-called white man, Jacob are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, so the Lord loves his people, and he hates this other nation of people, which are you so-called white people, okay? It says they prepare a table for that troop and furnish the drink offering into that number, okay? And that's what she's doing, man, you know? Giving all the clout to the, 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 the enemy, man, okay? Praying for him. There's nothing you should pray for. See, and, and, and the people that's thinking like this are going to get caught up in Jacob's trouble. You see? Going to get slaughtered. Okay? Let's get this last precept. You know, this really just pissed me off when I heard this, man. So, you know, this is Jeremiah chapter 48, verse 10. It says, Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord Yahweh deceitfully. And cursed be he they keep it back his sword from blood. Yeah, see? The Lord wants you to go out with a bang <laughs> when he, when it's time. But, you know, but the Lord also said, wait upon me until I rise up to the pray, you know. Which is, this is only being in the, in the, in the case of when the war jumps off and the Lord, you know, Wants you to be in this mindset, but only in the mindset of being like this. This is, you know, not physically, because the Lord is gonna, you know, raise up to the prey. It's nothing that we can do, but definitely we ain't supposed to be in the mindset of, you know, praying for the enemy. You know, never that. Never praying for your enemy. You praying for the Lord to give you strength and wisdom and knowledge and understanding of these scriptures so in the time of wrath the lord will have mercy okay so with that being said gonna give our praises and honor to your house 
Bahashem, Rakan Kodash, the honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone for teaching us this truth. And shalom to the whole for elect.